Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 2 of the sub-series File System Watcher Component. In this video, we will discuss about the example. So in the last video, we learned the basics of the File System Watcher Component. Then we also looked at the important properties as well as events. So this is the example we want to create and this is a multi-line text box. So this one is the multi-line text box. Then here we have folder path to monitor. So user will first uh, specify the folder which uh, folder they want to monitor using the file system watcher component so they can pick the folder or they can directly type the folder as well so when they click this it will launch the folder browser dialog so from the folder browser dialog user can pick a path and if they want to type the path manually they have to make sure they are uh, spelling the directory pop properly or you can even set this as a read only field and allow picking a folder through folder browser dialog only but here in our example we doesn't make this text as a read only uh, we are still allowing editing as well as you can uh, pick the folder through this uh, folder browser dialog so the clear content will clear the multi-line text box content so here the monitoring information goes on it will keep on adding whenever a change takes place in the specific path so at any point in time you can clear the content then here if you see we have a path i mean a checkbox once it is checked, we state the file system watcher component to watch file system changes on this folder temp3 as well as all of its subfolder and uh, the subfolder of subfolder. So recursively monitor all the uh, subfolders from temp3. Then we have filters which uh, um, file system change we want to monitor suppose if user clicked only the created as well as deleted then whenever a file is created on this specific folder or one of its subfolder or when a file get deleted only those stuff will get watched and get listed here in this multi-line text box this close button will close the sample application and start monitor will perform the uh, monitoring action and the filters uh, just now we talked about it you can turn on and off these uh, filters to monitor the uh, file system so if you see here uh, we will be using uh, two components one is the folder browser so both will not occupy any space in our form they are components and this folder browser will get invoked by the button click of two and file system watcher that we will be using throughout this form all right uh, in the next video we will talk about the uh, form design and some of the properties thank you for watching bye